Okay, so now we get to the crux of the matter. What to do if you're bullied? So this is where we go into the details of the action plan. Um, so the first thing that you need to realize that the number one thing that the bully is looking for is a reaction. And if you don't give them a reaction, they will get bored and move on to someone else. They want to see fear in your eyes. They want to see you shiver. They want to see you cry. They want to they want to see you tremble. They want to see their behavior having an impact on you or re, or you or making you react a certain way. And if you don't give them that reaction or what they're looking for, they will just lose interest and move on. So that's the first thing you need to do, that you need to make sure that you do not react to the bully in any way or form. Uh, just let it roll off you like nothing's happening and just ignore it. Uh, now, tell bully to stop in a calm and clear voice. This is the second step. Now, why is this so important to tell the bully to stop in a calm and clear voice if it continues? So, if so in the first step, we don't react, so it, right? And then if they continue to do that behavior, then you tell the bully to stop in a calm and clear voice. This is important because what happens is, uh, say a kid gets bullied, they get both they both get in trouble, they get called to the principal's office, and the principal asks the bully, well, why were you picking on him? And he turns, and, he, and he, the first thing most likely he or she is going to say is, oh, I was just joking, I was just kidding around, I didn't know it was bothering him. I do that to everyone, I, did, I, I was just playing around. He know he didn't tell me to stop. So see, you see, so you want to avoid that because you want to communicate to the bully that, hey, you do not appreciate that behavior and you want them to stop. So if you do get called to the principal's office, you can say, hey, I did tell him or her to stop and I have witnesses. And they heard me tell him or her to stop, but he or she continued to uh, behave in a bullying manner with me. Now, uh, a few points to keep in mind. Um, Obviously, you only tell the bully to stop in a calm and clear voice if you don't feel at risk, scared, or physically threatened. So some bullies are so aggressive that the victim might feel too afraid. If that's the case, then obviously uh, that's okay. Uh, then there's something else that you do that we'll discuss later on. If, 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 if you're too scared to say that, uh, what steps to take? Um, the second thing you need to realize about this issue is that you can also try to laugh it off. Uh, why does that work? It's because you're not giving the bully the reaction he or she wants. So if you try to just, just joke it off or just laugh it off, uh, like it doesn't bother you, so, so the bullying is not looking for that reaction. So that why, that's why this technique is mentioned in anti-bullying uh, workshops because it's, uh, it's, like a, it's like a form of self-protection uh, and um, self-defense where you are basically communicating through body language to the bully that their behavior is not bothering you and they're just taking it as a joke. Um, you know, if, it's interesting that a lot of the a lot of the popular comedians, uh, like John Stewart, um, uh, there few there were a few other ones that I, I can't remember their name, but they were actually bullied as children, um, and they used comedy as a way to basically defend themselves and get out of situations, a bullying situation. So it was like a mechanism. So there are a lot of so there are a lot of popular comedians out there who were actually bullied as children and comedy was a way that they basically got out of bullying situations. So that's something th interesting to think about. Um, and obviously this would only work best if uh, joking comes naturally to you and you're not like showing that you're not just making and you're not in, and you're able to show that you're not just pretending, right? So again, that goes back to the victim, him or herself. Now, if speaking up seems too hard or not safe, then walk away and stay away. Obviously, if you feel too if you feel too scared or the bully is too aggressive, even in that situation, uh, and even the joking is not working, then just walk away. Don't say anything. Just, just keep away. Don't fight back. Find an adult to stop the bullying on the spot. So that's what you should do. So if the bully is too aggressive, then you have to go and find an uh, adult, and you need to report it immediately. Um, if bullying continues, what happens if the bullying still continues? Then you need to talk to a trusted adult. What is a trusted adult? A trusted adult is any adult that you feel secure with, that you can connect with, and most importantly, that you know will get the job done, will do something to protect you. That's the most important thing for a trusted adult. A, a trusted adult is someone who will actually go out of their way to help you to stop the bullying and they will protect you. Uh, and it can be anyone. 
uh, a teacher, a parent, guidance counselor, school psychologist, sometimes it's the security guy at the school. And I know of a situation where somebody was uh, very severely bullied and the only one that stood up for him was a security guard. Um, so you need to find a trusted adult and make sure um, to, so you can, so they can protect you from the bully. Um, avoid the bully. Okay, so now again, so now these are basically basic self-defense techniques, right? Stay away from places where bullying happens. Uh, so sometimes bullies, they only hang out in certain parts of the school. They don't hang out outside, outside of those parts. So just avoid those parts. Just go take another route. You don't need to go down that route. Just take another route. Or sometimes the bully only picks on the kid when he or she is alone. If they're with somebody else, then they won't pick on them. So in that case, then always stay near adults or other kids. Uh, you can even use a buddy system where you have a friend or someone you trust walk with you all the time uh, so that you are not harmed by the bully. So these are basic self-defense techniques. You know, one of the main fundamental laws of self-defense is that you avoid physical contact at any rate. So even in, so in practical self-defense, running away is not a form of cowardliness. Uh, avoiding the bully is not a form of cowardliness. Uh, this is actually encouraged in practical self-defense classes because it is a form of self-defense. Naturally, human beings either fight or they take flight. Not just human beings, but animals as well. Either you're going to fight or you're going to take flight. So if you're not able to fight, then you need to basically remove yourself from the situation. And in most cases, victims of bullying cannot fight back. We often hear, oh, you know, they should hit the bully or they should just punch them once and everything will be okay. That's not okay because for most kids, that's not even on the table. To fight back is not even an option. Sometimes the bully has so many friends who are backing him or her up that if he were to fight, he could get severely injured. So we should never give children this advice to start hitting or start getting violent. And I'll talk more about that in the next slide, uh, inshallah. Um, so to wrap up, uh, avoid the bully. Um, stay away from places where bullying happens. Uh, so if the bully is, you, if you if you if uh, if you go to a bathroom and you see your bully there, then immediately walk out of the bathroom. Don't stay there. Stay near adults or other kids if the bullying happens alone. And the most important thing is you need to report it to an adult. And adults cannot help you if they do not know what's going on. So you must report it to an, a trusted adult who can help you from the situation. And don't let the bully think that. Hey, if you tell someone you're going to be a snitch, hey, don't tell some. Uh, if you're going to tell someone you're going to be a tattletaler, those are just techniques that the bully is using to scare you, and um, basically so they can continue that behavior. Uh, in reality, that's all just talk. Okay, so you need to understand. And in most cases, that's just talk. They're just trying to scare you into submission to let them continuously abuse you, emotionally, psychologically, and physically, even. So you must report it and you must get help.